life that is holy and pleasing to God. A reverent life. Look at how, look at how the Messiah is prophesied to reign over us. That he would reign over us with wisdom and with understanding. That Jesus would reign over us with counsel and with power. That he would reign over us with knowledge and the fear of God. And that he would delight in the fear of God. What does Proverbs teach us about the fear of the Lord? That the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Of wisdom. If the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's where you got to start. you got to start with God. Everything else falls into place. But if you don't start with God, everything else falls out of place. Look at how Jesus would reign over us. It's with wisdom. It's with understanding. It's with counsel. It's with power. It's with knowledge. It's with fear. So many times we go through things in our lives and we ask the question, oh, where is God? Or we go through things in our life and, and we ask the question, God, why are you allowing this to happen to us? We look at the situation and we forget how he's reigning over us. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Is it a B or is it a 13? I think I shared this a few years ago. Um, so I'll share it again with you guys. So I want you to look at this uh, tic-tac-toe graph that you see up here on the board. And I want you to see that there's, there's something that's in the center. There's an object that's in the center and it's in yellow, okay? Now how many of you, when you look at that, that object that's in the yellow, you say, that's a B. Raise your hand, let me see. You think that's a B? Raise your hand, raise your hand. All right, how many of you say, no, that's not a B, that's a 13. Raise your hand, that's a 13, definitely a 13. Okay, good. Okay, now, let's, let's put it to the test. All right, if I remove the, 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 the vertical line and we just look at it horizontally, let's just say I, I, I said, look, look at this. Look at these three numbers. What do you see in the middle? Probably 99% of people would say it's a 13, right? 99%, right, because there's always that one person in the room that wants to go against what everybody else is doing, okay? So 99% so of you would say that's a 13, right? But then if we, we take out the, 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 the horizontal line and we just say, no, let's keep it the vertical line. And if I, were, if I were to just show you this on a piece of paper and I were to say, hey, this thing, this object that's in the middle, what, what do you see? And I'm pretty sure that 99.99% of you would say it's a what? It's a, it's a B. So now take a step back, and by the way, you could I, do this with people. Do this with people when you're trying to teach them what, what I'm about to say to you all. You see, it's the same object. The only thing that made a difference was your perspective. The only thing that made a difference about the object you were looking at was the perspective that you took when you looked at the object. If you looked at the object horizontally, it looks like a 13. But when you look at the object vertically, it looks like a bee. Think about what God's trying to teach us here. That we could go through the same thing in our life, or this thing in our life, but it has to do with our perspective on how we look at that thing. We can look at that thing horizontally. Like human beings look at things. And say, oh, that's a 13, right? Not that we believe in luck, but unlucky number 13. Right? It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Or if we say, you know what, I'm going to take a step back, and I'm not going to look at this thing from man's perspective. I'm not going to look at this thing from a human perspective, but I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to give me God's perspective on what I'm going through in my life right now. And when you allow that to take place in your life, you're not going to look at it as a 13. You're going to look at it as a B. Maybe say, maybe in God's Sovereignty, maybe you'll end up seeing it as maybe this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Because it's brought me to the place where I find myself today in need of Christ alone. 